For the past two years, while the COVID-19 pandemic has taken over the headlines, the other big story has been the resumption of flights by airlines in countries operating the Boeing 737 MAX. Because of the two fatal crashes, it has become one of the more controversial aircrafts in recent years, bringing criticism and scrutiny on the aircraft but also the Boeing company. While the world is seeing the return of the 737 MAX to the skies, the aircraft currently remains grounded in China. With major implications for Boeing and the 737 MAX program, there is an effort to help return the aircraft to the skies over China. There has been some new recent developments as for the efforts by Boeing to obtain the necessary approvals for the return of the 737 MAX to the skies in China. On August 5, it has been reported on outlets such as Bloomberg and Reuters that Boeing has sent a 737 MAX aircraft which would participate in a flight test in China. Along the way, the aircraft reportedly made stops in John Rogers Field in Hawaii and then the U.S. territory of Guam before arriving in Shanghai, China at Shanghai Pudong Airport on August 7. Its arrival preceded the similar testing which was scheduled for August 8, which would then be followed by a flight test on August 11. Regarding these developments, there has been no results or statements released by the Boeing company or the Chinese aviation authorities, though we could say that it is going to have major implications for the future of the 737 MAX and Boeing in China. If the aircraft were to be approved by Chinese authorities for the return of flight, it would be a positive shift for the program as the Chinese authorities were among the first in the world to ground the aircraft following the crashes of ET-302 and Lion Air 3610. While the aircraft has been allowed to operate in 175 countries and is now operating with 30 airlines, China is one of the last holdouts for approval of the aircraft to operate in the country, where major airlines in the country have ordered the aircraft. Along with the pending orders that have yet to be delivered, around 100 Boeing 737 MAX aircraft have already been delivered to Chinese carriers. Of the major Chinese airlines that have already received the Boeing 737 MAX, One of the biggest operators with the aircraft on their fleet is China Southern with 24, followed by Air China 16 and Hainan Airlines with 11. Other notable Chinese carriers that have already received at least one 737 MAX include China Eastern, Xiamen Air, and Shenzhen Airlines. Now the upcoming test flight is going to be no guarantee of recertification for lifting the flight ban on the jets. Though we could say the lifting of the ban would be helpful for the airlines, who have shouldered the cost of maintenance and the upkeep of the aircraft while they are parked. As the process and coordination is ongoing between Boeing and the Chinese authorities, these airlines are still prepping the aircraft for their return to service. While there are some positive signs, some obstacles that could come in the way for the 737 MAX in China include the lingering trade tensions between the US and China. Geopolitics aside, The real question is, would Boeing be able to meet the standards that the Chinese authorities have set out, which they have outlined their three principles for the return of the 737 MAX in China? These principles include first, the aircraft alteration must be approved for airworthiness, second, pilots must be fully and effectively trained, and third, the conclusion of the investigation of the two crashes must be clear and improvement measures effective. Beyond the test flight and the similarity testing, Boeing will have a tall task to address the three concerns of the Chinese authorities in a way that will convince the Chinese authorities that the Boeing 737 MAX deserves to return to the skies over China. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia Pacific. Thank you for watching and have a great day.